Hey, so Brian, can I ask you, uh, why would you encourage students to get involved in a career in software engineering? Okay, well, I think it's a really interesting thing. I've done many things in my life. I've studied mathematics, psychology, economics, computer science, and software, in, software research in the software area is really, really interesting, and far more than you might think, because you're working with people and technology um, on really interesting problems. Um, I think the other thing, actually, you won't be able to avoid it. You, know, you might think you can avoid this feeling, but everything we do in life is governed by software. Um, when we get a bus, when we our lottery tickets, uh, everything we do. And some of the, the most exciting opportunities in the future are in this area. And the fact that you, what we need to do is um, bring the internet onto mobile phones, for example, so we can pay our bills using a mobile phone. We don't have to um, use cash anymore. We don't have to use an ATM machine. But you can do everything through one device you have in your pocket. If you want to go to lectures, you'll find out where the lecture is on from your mobile phone. It'll tell you where you are on campus. It'll walk you through a campus or anywhere in the world. You know, th these, te these technologies already exist, actually, these ideas of putting together all this technology to make people's lives better. And that's, it's just waiting for people with creativity and imagination. I think it really, really is the most important and exciting area. That, you know, there are thousands of things that haven't been solved there yet. You know. So it's up to people's ingenuity to put all this stuff together, sensors and technology, and, 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 and create a better lifestyle for people. There's some really interesting opportunities there. So I don't think you can avoid it because in modern life you'll never be more than five feet away from a computer anyway, so you're, you're going to have it in your life anyway, and it's better to get involved and to shape the future. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Irene, why would you encourage a student to study software engineering or software engineering research? Uh, I suppose for a number of reasons, but um, primarily like software is such a huge part of modern life now, so you need some sort of understanding of software systems, you know, the car you drive to work every day is um, software intensive and you have to work with a PC, so it's kind of good to give yourself some knowledge in that. Okay, so Val, why would you encourage uh, students to pursue a career in software engineering or software engineering research? Well, first of all, software engineering is a very exciting career to be in. It's very dynamic, it's always changing. Um, you, the challenges are invigorating. Um, you also have to be prepared to listen and learn. Research is particularly rewarding because you can make a contribution that can help other people. For example, my research in global software development, one of the reasons I've undertaken it would be that it would be taken up and used by my colleagues to make their work easier. I find it liberating and actually exciting as well to look at the state of the art and to use my brain to work out how I could make things better. One of the problems we have with industry is that when we're working, we work to deadlines and we're required to come up with solutions very, very quickly. So you have a problem, tomorrow you need a solution. With research, you're allowed to define a problem, think about that problem, and you have a period of time, an extended period of time, to come up with the optimum solution. I suppose one of the great things about research is when you have your findings published and people come up to you and say, what you've actually come up with there is really good and has really helped me in my job. I suppose that's the most satisfying aspect of research. So I'd encourage all students to consider research in software engineering or any other field as a career. Okay, so Anne, can I ask you, why would you encourage a student to pursue a career in software engineering or in computing? Um, I suppose because it's so all-pervasive. I mean, there is, there's barely an industry you can go into now, or any form of anything, actually, entertainment, whatever it is, you look at medicine, there's computing underlying everything. Um, so you're... you're you just there's so much flexibility if you have the basic knowledge and skills and way of working with computing and that way of solving problems. It's just so diverse what you can do with it, and I think that's tremendously exciting. Um, it kind of opens doors for you in wherever you want to go. And I think as well because society is changing so much as a result of the power of computing and the changes that. It's one way of influencing what's happening.
you know, if you're in there and you have the skills and the knowledge and the way of talking about it, you can have some influence on what's going to happen. So, yeah, absolutely great. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Anders, um, can I ask you, why would you encourage a student to study uh, software engineering or computing? Um, well, I think that's, that's really a very hard question. I think it's very personal what you do. Um, but for me, it was sort of because um, I wouldn't I wouldn't call myself a software engineer. I would say that I'm into um, systems development, maybe, which is which is a lot broader than just developing the technology, because it's also about it's also about um, uh, understanding the the main area that you're developing for and understanding the users and the practices and understanding what difference the system's going to make on, on, on different levels, so on an organizational level and a uh, social level and things like this. So I think what attracted me to the area was that, that you got to sort of, you got to do both the, the technical things, you know, you, you, had, you had this, because I'm, I'm very interested in the technology, but you also got to, got to get this, this other side of it, this, this more the softer side and sort of so so what attracted me was that it was a lot well as I said a lot broader than just the technical you got to you got to see all the all the all the other sides to it as well um, and I think that makes it very interesting to work with. Okay thank you very much. Okay so Danny can I ask you um, why would you encourage a student to uh, study software engineering or computing? Uh, I suppose the, the two primary reasons would be one, I would sort of perceive the use and, and knowledge of computer software uh, and hardware to some extent as being a little bit like a liberal arts degree 100 years ago in that it gives you the basic grounding you need to tackle any other particular field. And the second reason would be I think that uh, the skills that you learn in problem solving are things that you can apply to any other field and it's easier to acquire the other skills having gotten the education in software development. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Paul, can I ask you, why would you encourage a student to study uh, computing? Uh, well, personally, I think we're living in very interesting times where um, software technology is every day in our lives, from our mobile phones, to our cars, to even in our homes. And there's also been many recent innovations in the areas of mobile technologies, to medicine, to entertainment. And there's even been many companies investing in Ireland, which is very exciting, like Google, IBM and Microsoft. So there's many jobs out there, opportunities out there. And even if you do come to study computing technologies or programming, it'll give you the basic skill to go on and develop it into many different areas that'll give you great opportunities in the future. Okay, that's great. Thanks very much. Okay, so Eric, can I ask you, why would you encourage a student to study uh, computing? Um, I can maybe base it on my own personal interest. It's that I'm amazed of all the things you can do with a computer. Uh, in the beginning, it was why I got into computing was really all the I saw the the films and uh, really interested in computer games and video games and all the possibilities you can you can do with that. But as I uh, got more into the field, I got more away from the cosmetic and the entertainment side and saw that you can actually use this technology to the good as well. So what I'm doing is I'm using it for a medical simulation. So I can use the same kind of technologies with 3D graphics and visualization and advanced motion capture to create um, systems that actually can help people. So it's as it started off as being an interest and part of what I wanted to do uh, more maybe to the entertainment side but then I realized that it has had so much more potential so it's really because of that. Okay, that's I, find, I find it interesting, it's, it's, uh, it, yeah, it's almost like a passion to be honest. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Okay, so Colin can I ask you, um, why would you encourage a student to study computing? Well, that's a tough question and I don't really want to answer it, but in a way I'll answer it. I'll just tell you what I love about what I'm doing and um, 
maybe you like it too, maybe you'll want to get into it as well. As you can see from our surroundings here, we're not stuck in front, in front of a computer, just straight programming. But at the end of the result, end of the day, the, the programmers allow us to connect um, different activities together, um, whether it's from computer to these structures here, which is a, is a public art piece that a different master student is using. And without computer programmers, this, these pieces of metal would be useless. But with the computer programmers, we're mapping a very interesting art piece to, um, to, to different sounds. So that now, when the public come along, they will interact with these pieces and generate their own kind of music. Um, but why to do computer science? It's like it's more case of why to build anything. Um, if you're if you're doing programming, you could be a graphic designer, you can be working in a bank, you can be there's so many different things. It's such a huge world out there. Um, if you like building things, creating things, if you're an artist, yes, computer science is it falls in there. There's a, there's a link between philosophy and maths and creativity, um, and they're all pretty much the same. Here we have a bit of a genius for a boss, so um, he's a, he is programming and he is, or he's an artist, he's a composer. Uh, a lot of people thought just pick a particular niche and do it, or you can do them all, and it, it's up to yourself. Okay, that's great, thank you very yeah. much. Okay, so Mark, can I ask you, um, why would you encourage a student to study computing? Um, computing is basically it's integral to um, all the products and services that are available nowadays and in the future. Um, so it's going to be important for students to have this knowledge so they can apply it in their careers in, in, um, in future years. Um, for me, computing is important because I like creating things. And it says it's integral to creating nearly everything, every product or service is has been provided. Um, specifically here in the IDC, the stuff we create is very applicable to what people use in their everyday lives. So I find that very interesting, the fact that we can make a product, make it usable, so people can use a product and we, we, can see the, we can see the outcomes of the project and see how it helps people in their everyday activities and lives. Um, so it's good in that way that we can, we can see that we're doing something that is important and can be used and, and makes them, makes difference in other people's lives. Okay, that's great. Thanks very much, Mark. Okay, so Gabrielle, can I ask you, um, why would you encourage a student to study computing? Well, first of all, because computing can be applied to almost any other domain, like manufacturing, healthcare, education, entertainment, so it could bring you a job in almost any domain. Um, on the other side, it is not as difficult as it might be. So some people are scared, oh, computing, programming, this is difficult. Uh, well, it is not. You have to try. And then you have to think of the benefit of uh, not having to uh, be preoccupied by uh, the shortage of jobs. There will always be jobs in computing you will have, of course, to be flexible. And um, another major advantage, in 10 years from now, you could work from any location around the world. Could it be Hawaii, the south of France, or, I don't know, Greenland? <laughs> okay, thank You're you right. very much.